Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to another video. And this week I am doing the copy challenge using Draw with Jaza's Artie Party app. Basically, if you guys do not know what this challenge is, basically the app is going to give me a picture and I'm gonna have to try to copy the picture in five minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so our first one here is sort of like a mix of a hyena, wolf, and dog. If you guys know what this is, leave it in the comments. I didn't exactly know what this is, but I tried to draw it anyways. So I actually started with the right eye, and eventually I erase it again because I ended up making it too close to the middle of the face. But since I'm just using a pencil, I actually filled in the spots that were basically like black on the uh, animal of some sort and then just sort of didn't fill in places that were lighter and I thought this worked well for just using a pencil quick thing that I want to talk about guys is we're almost at a hundred subscribers and that's so cool and I wanted to thank you guys for that I think I'm gonna be doing an animated Q&A for 100 subscribers so if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you guys have any other d ideas for 100 subscri subscribers also leave that in the comments below and I might end up doing it so now I'm starting to draw on the left eye and uh, this challenge is really good for me because I don't do a ton of realistic stuff, especially animals, and I really need to work on that because I'm not very good at them. But as you guys may know, I do a lot of cartoon work, especially with like blocky heads and stuff like that, as you guys might have seen from my channel. So I definitely need to work on my realistic stuff. I'm okay at humans, like I can do humans a lot better than I can do animals, but animals I tend to struggle with, as you can see from this animal of some sort but next challenge is a giraffe and that gets a little bit better it's hard in the beginning but uh, it's a little bit better than this one another thing i wanted to ask you guys about is i uploaded my first tutorial last week it was a cartoon fire tutorial and you guys seemed to like it and i was wondering if you guys wanted any more tutorials and if there's any specific thing that you guys want me to teach you um I'm usually better at the cartoon stuff, so I'd be better at teaching you cartoon style drawings. So now we're getting towards the end of the drawing and I'm just starting to fill in the body. And what I did is where it was sort of not super dark fur, but not super light, I would just go over the spot lightly with the pencil to give that effect. And then towards the end of the drawing, of course, I'm just adding in some little details like shading. So. Here is the final product in a few seconds. Um, it turned out okay. It probably wasn't the best out of all of them. But uh, let's go ahead and get on to the next challenge. Next up is a giraffe, which was also really hard because it was an animal and I don't usually do animals. But also I ended up making the face too long, a little bit too tall. And you guys will see that I end up erasing it and sort of starting the front part of the giraffe over again. A quick tip for you guys if you're doing realistic art especially is to con kind of compare distances of lines. So let's say you're trying to draw the top of his nose compared to his forehead you can see that the top of his nose is shorter than the distance of his forehead so you know to make it smaller and this will just help sort of with your proportions and make the whole drawing look a little bit better so now i'm starting to put in the eye and i take a step back and realize it looks like an anteater so i erase the whole thing or at least most of it and redraw it a few times to try to find the right shape for the giraffe's head quick update on my thoughts about a store i'm thinking of opening a store on etsy probably in a few months i don't have time for it right now but i should in a few months and i'm for sure gonna do uh like prints of my art and then probably some crafts of some sort and maybe like some buttons or shirts if you guys would like that and i think it'll be really fun to open up a store and just make art for other people to have so at this point in the challenge, I still haven't figured out its head shape. So most of the this challenge was trying to find the head shape and took a lot of the time. And then I end up putting in the plant and trying to add the giraffe's pattern to it. So I finally find a head shape that I'm okay with. And looking at it right now, it's still not very good, but it'll do. I probably should have added a few more details around the eye also. But now I'm starting to add in the tongue and shade it in and then i go ahead and add in the plant and a few branches around it and then i 
start to add in the patterns of the giraffe. This is the challenge that I definitely was running out of time the most in. Usually most challenges, especially with the Draw with Jaza app, I end up having some extra time at the end and just try to add in some details. But with this one, the head shape was just really hard, so it took a long time. And then I had to add in the patterns and some details around the eye and the ears and stuff like that. So here's the final product. I think it turned out pretty good in the end. It was better than the first one. So let's go ahead and get... All right, our last challenge for today is this cabin, and this was my favorite to draw and probably the easiest, and it turned out the best, probably because it wasn't an animal, and I draw houses every once in a while. So I'm starting off with the tree that's sort of placed in front of the cabin. I did this because it was a good starting point and gave me uh, sort of like a point of view of everything else um, that was in the picture. Next, I started drawing the framework of the front panel of the house that's by the tree branch. And I started putting in the window. And I also add in some details like the log of the cabin and the panels on top of the roof. A good thing to do when you're drawing architecture is to go over your lines a few times so you can get a nice straight line and they will look thicker and just better in general. Next I'm adding in the other part of the roof and adding in details like panels on the roof. I almost forgot to add in the chimney but then I put it in and remember to put in some details by sort of splitting the chimney in half and then adding some horizontal lines and then small vertical lines within those horizontal lines to add in the brick detail. Next, I'm doing the other side of the house by basically doing what I did with the front, adding in the framework, and then putting in the logs of the side of the house. I also put in the ladder, which is placed on the side of the house, and I thought this was a really cool thing that they did with the log cabin. It kind of gave it sort of an old look. And it was a really cool picture, actually. I think that picture is actually really cool. Next, I'm starting to add in some groundwork and some trees around it to add in some greenery and background. The Artie Party app also has an environment challenge, so if you guys want to do that, make sure you leave a like, and maybe I will do that for my next Artie Party challenge. Now I'm just finishing up adding some detail to the background. And a quick tip, if you guys are ever doing nature drawings and you don't want to add in a bunch of detail but you still want to fill up the background, it's sort of just to make little curves and little uh, bent lines in the background and it'll sort of just look like leaves or branches that are filling up the background space. So next I just fill in the windows and this challenge definitely turned out the best out of all of them and it was my favorite to do. So here's the final product. I think it turned out really good and I loved making it. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this challenge and you want to see more of these, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, some questions for the animated Q&A for 100 subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome weekly art videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.